Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be working on a workout just using dumbbells. That's all you need. Maybe just a little flat surface and we'll get started right away for our upper body, lower body workout. Just 30 minutes. Give it all you got. So we're going to be starting with a superset, three sets of back lunges and single leg deadlift. So here we're alternating legs, coming back on the heels, dropping ourselves down towards the ground, keeping our weight on our front heel. Breathe in, come down, exhale up. Make sure you're focused on core tension and finding your glutes as you come up. Focus on hinging those hips. Breathing in, come down, exhale up. Again, we're doing 14 reps each side deep breaths, you're doing a great job. Focus on keeping the shoulder blades squeeze. And just finishing off here, breathing in, come down, exhale up, last one. And next. now we're gonna transition into our next exercise. We're going into our single leg deadlift, one leg at a time. The goal here is to simply hinge back from the hips, straight leg. Planted into the ground and keeping our hips square to the ground. The goal here is to find the stretch in the hamstring, to find our glute on the standing leg, thrusting the hips forwards, keeping the back straight throughout. Breathing, come down, exhale up, keep that core tension. Only 10 reps, almost done. That's it, focus on that nice balance. We switch sides, spreading the toes in the shoe, slightly bend the knee of the standing leg, breathe in, come down, shoulder blade squeeze, chin tucked. Breathe in, coming down, focusing on that core tension, exhale, squeeze the glute. Almost there, going through it again for 10. Again, focus on that glute tension, the hinge coming from the hip, and slowly after this, let's switch and right back to our first exercise, the lunge. Keeping focused on pushing off the heel, keeping our back straight and our shoulder blade squeeze. Breathing in, coming down, exhale up, really find that glute tension for every single rep. Again, remember each rep is a moment of learning, so try to make sure that you're performing it correctly and you're bracing that core, taking the time to control. And from here, we're going to switch over back to our single leg deadlift, focusing on our nice hip hinge, our straight leg, finding the hamstring stretch, finding the glutes, and letting ourselves drop forwards without necessarily bringing the knee into flexion, but focusing more on that hip movement. Breathing, come down, keeping the shoulder blade squeeze, the hips square to our floor, and make sure that our core is nice and tight. Deep breaths as you go through the 10 reps. All right, we're switching legs, finding again that planted heel, keeping our knees slightly bent of the standing supporting leg, but focusing on that hinge, keep the back straight, chin tucked. Exhale up, inhale down, find that balance. Really find that glute tension as you come up. All right, 
last set here of our lunges. Go in one more time, 14 reps each side. Focus on that glute tension, the core tension, and of course keeping our shoulders back. Keep leaning forwards with your upper body so that your weight is all on the front leg. Deep breaths. So we're doing our first superset here, just focusing on our legs. We have a total of seven supersets for our workout today. No breaks, really giving it all we got. Just 30 minutes of hard work so that we can really get the most benefits out of this workout. Short and sweet. Keep going, keep alternating foot. And last rep here, and let's go ahead and switch back to our single leg deadlift. One last set, 10 reps each side, focusing again on the hip hinge. It doesn't have to be so low. Focus really on keeping those hips parallel to the ground throughout the motion. And we switch legs, focusing again on the other side. Finding that hamstring stretch, shoulder blade squeeze. This exercise is a great balance exercise so that we can focus on our form, our eventual deadlift, finding maybe any weaknesses between left and right. And last um, rep and relax. We're now starting a new superset, lateral split squats. We're only doing two sets for this one, one a set after the other. So here we're working on hinging from the hips, going backwards, finding our core tension, and we're keeping our knees behind our toes. We're really finding that stretch in the inner thigh as we load the other leg and push off the heel. Find that squeeze in the glutes at the top and then come back on the same side. So we're really focusing on our 12 reps, one side, and then we switch. So keep going, breathe in, come down, exhale up. All right, we're switching sides, same thing, focusing on that hinge from the hips, finding that mobility in the hamstring, in the inner thigh, and of course, feeling that glute burn up as we push off that heel. Doing great, keep focusing on that core tension. Focus on that core tension, shoulder blade squeeze. You're doing great, focus on again, making sure that knee doesn't pass the toes. All right, the second exercise is gonna be a front squat. So we're keeping the dumbbells in front of our shoulders, elbows in front, and when the goal is to feel the shoulder blade squeeze, we come down, breathe in, find that hand to the hips. The goal is to find our glutes, our quadriceps, our front thighs burning up as we keep our core connected with the breath, exhaling up, inhaling down. Keep going, focusing again, planting on those heels, keeping our back straight. You're doing an awesome job. Again, just 12 reps here. Going back to our first exercise when we're lateral. Split squats, finding our glutes, finding our stretch in the inner thigh, really bring those hips back, pushing off that heel, single leg at a time for 12 full reps. Keep breathing in, coming down, exhale, find the core. You're doing great. Keep going till 12. Slowly is surely the best to find the glute tension. set here for our inner thigh stretch, our hamstring stretch, and of course strengthening the glutes, bracing our core, shoulder blade squeeze as we do it. Keep breathing, that's going to be important to 
synchronize that exhale with core tension throughout, building that learning process of strengthening the core as we exhale is going to be important as we increase weights and get stronger and stronger. Front squat. So we're keeping the dumbbells in front of our shoulders, elbows in front, and when the goal is to feel the shoulder blade squeeze, we come down, breathe in, find that hand to the hips. Our glutes when we're working on our squat is super important to make sure that we're not putting too much stress on our back. Glute tension coming from the push off of the heels and pushing forwards from the hips. Deep breaths in, coming down, exhaling up. Squeezing those shoulder blades so that our chest stays vertical. Now we're going to transition onto the ground for our upper body exercises. We're going to start with our superset three, chest press and tricep extensions. So for the chest press, our hands are going to be above our chest. Our elbows are going to be three degrees from our body. Hands are just above the elbows, pressing up towards the sky. But make sure you keep those shoulders into the ground as you do it so that you don't necessarily come off from the shoulders and start using those shoulders when we're pressing up. The goal is to stabilize from the shoulders, finding your lats and making sure that we don't use too much of our triceps and too much of our shoulders in regards to finding that chest. It's important to stabilize from there. Now for the tricep extension, we're basically in the same position at the very top, except that our thumbs are coming towards us and we're dropping our hands to the size of our heads, focusing on extending the elbows, but keeping those shoulders into the ground, keeping our lats, our large muscle group on the back, really tense and controlling of the motion. We go for a full 15 reps, focusing on our breath, and of course, our core tension as we go into that elbow extension. All right, we're coming back to our chest press for our second set here, focusing on chin tuck, bracing the core, and above all, finding our chest muscle by squeezing our shoulder blades on the ground, keeping the shoulders back. Nice job on that set. We transition to our tricep extensions, really focusing on extending those elbows, finding that triceps, the muscle behind our arm. And every time we push up, we're exploding from the core, exhaling, putting everything together at once. Make sure your lower back stays flat, just the same as the chest press. Deep breaths in, exhaling up. Last uh, set here, coming up chest press, finding that elbow tucked in slightly towards the hips, focusing on that recruitment of the chest muscle, squeezing from our shoulders backwards and upwards with the chest. Make sure you're in sync with your breath, finding the lower back flat to the ground. Breathe in, come down, exhale up almost there keep pushing through and good job on that set we switch now to our tricep extensions focusing on that focus on the lower back staying flat to the ground try not to move the arms but just move from your elbows hinging from the elbows finding the extension and of course burning up the triceps 15 reps in total here keep pushing through we're almost there on this last third superset here okay we're halfway through the workout we're going to be going into our next superset bent over rows and shoulder presses 
basically pretending like we're picking up something from the ground and bringing it towards our hips. So as we pull back, our elbows are tight to the body, focusing on our core tension, finding our lats, the large muscle group just on the side of our ribs, finding that squeeze as we pull back, breathing out, finding core tension, looking down towards the ground with our chin. All right, next we're going into shoulder presses, hands just above the shoulders, we're pressing up, keeping neutral grip, meaning your thumbs are towards you, pinkies forwards, elbows stay in front. So this neutral grip's gonna target our front delt, just in front of our shoulders here, finding that squeeze. Make sure you don't go too high so that you start feeling at your neck. All right, second set here, bent over rows, 15 reps in total. Focusing on that core tension, that straight line from head to our tailbone. Breathing in, come down, exhale up, pull in, elbows tight. Keep working. Pulling through from the lat is quite tricky to find. Really keep those elbows tight. It's not about how high you can get those dumbbells, but how you can keep your elbows tight and the dumbbells towards the hips. All right, second set of our shoulder presses, elbows in front, find that nice shoulder tension as you push up, shoulder blades squeezed, pop that chest, squeeze those glutes, keep going. Breathe in, come down, exhale up. Last rep to go, and relax, back to bent over rows, 15 reps, last set of each. We got 15 reps here, focusing on Finding those lats, elbows tight, lats are the most important muscle of our upper back in terms of stabilizing the shoulder. They're the largest one in our upper body, so we really got to train these guys so that we can find the chest better, find on a nicer isolation of the shoulders, so keep working on those. Alright, last set of shoulder presses. Focusing on elbows in front, shoulders down, stays down as you push up with those hands. Pop the chest out, exhale, breathe in, come down. Keep yourself from swaying by bracing the core, bracing throughout by squeezing our glutes as well. All right, we're going for a super set, focusing on lateral raises and of course our bent over hammer curls, great exercises for upper body. Lateral raises, we keep shoulder blades squeeze, hands to the sides, squeeze glutes, core. From there, we slightly raise forwards as well as we come to the sides, so we engage our front and lateral delts. So we our next bent over curls, just getting ourselves in that bent over position, elbows tight, pulling into a curl with our hammer position or neutral grip, thumb towards us, keep those elbows tight, core tight, and finish through the full set here, exhaling, find that burn in the forearm, in the biceps, and relax, we're coming back to our lateral raises, and we go up, find that core tension, balancing ourselves through the glute tension as well, finding the front and the lateral delts as we raise slightly forwards, but mostly on the sides, Little 10 reps, We're coming back to our lateral raises and we go up, find that core tension, balancing ourselves through the glute tension as well, finding the front and the lateral delts as we raise slightly forwards but mostly on the sides, 10 reps and slowly relax. Alright, last set here. Focusing lateral raises, shoulder blade squeeze. Come on, we're almost done through our workout. We got two more supersets to go after this. Keep pushing through. This is just a short 30 minute workout, blasting through your morning, your evening, or your midday. Come on, full 10. Last set of our bent over hammer curls, finding those forearms and biceps pumping for the 15 reps. Keep breathing, focus on that core tension. Really put that weight on the heels, chin tucked so that you don't release that core tension throughout. Keep pushing through.
All right, we're going to superset six, wide rows to start with. Working on a bent over position, pulling this time elbows wide, finding the shoulder blade squeeze, finding the shoulders, engaging as we open up that chest, keeping the core tense. All right, a little breather as we transition to the ground. Our hands are coming up towards the sky or the ceiling and working on dropping the arms this time with the elbows relatively straight and then pushing or pulling ourselves back up with the hands above the chest, finding our lats, engaging our shoulders to stay down and squeezed. Deep breaths here for 10. on our core tension, shoulder blade squeeze, chin suck to make sure that we're not moving our neck. Just 10 reps in total, we're almost there, keep going deep breaths. Transitioning back to the ground for our lat pull downs, hands over top the chest, and we drop and we push up and pull down keeping the core braced make sure that lower back stays flat keep going deep breaths exhale up inhaling down tight, working on a shoulder blade squeeze, chin tuck, deep breath up, inhale down, that's it, control the speed of how you're coming upwards, you want to be slow, but yet contracting the right muscle by externally rotating, dropping the thumb to the sides, keep that nice space with the elbows wide, we're going to switch now to our Front raises one at a time, alternate arms, working on 10 reps each side. Shoulder blade squeeze, little rotation, thumbs up as we raise. Focusing on the small muscle, deep breath up, inhaling down. Keep the shoulder blades back, chest out, squeezing our glutes. Nice job on that set. We come back to bicep curls. No rest. Just pushing through the three sets. We're at three. Keep bracing that core. Four. Find that elbow tension tight to the body. And of course, we're keeping our chin tucked so that we can focus on our core and glutes. Of course, the more we can get the most activation from the biceps, the more we're successfully bracing that core and we switch back to front raises. 
All right, finding that spot, and let's go raise it one arm at a time. 10 reps in total here on each side. Deep breaths up, inhaling down. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades, squeezing the glutes. There you go. We're pushing on the last stretch of our workout. Make it count. Don't give up here. It doesn't have to be shoulder height every time. It can leave it lower if you're starting to fail. Keep going. Deep breath. And slowly transition back to our bicep curls. Last set. And let's go. Two. Three. Four. That's it. Five. Keep elbows tight. Focus on the glute tension, all the way to 15. That's it, deep breath. I can feel you're coming onto the last stretch of your energy. Just give it all you got. Make sure you're not arching the back and switch. All right, frontal raises again, one at a time. And let's go. That's it, one on each. Finally, that shoulder blade squeeze. Keep squeezing those glutes. A little bending of the knees to help you stabilize from your pelvis. Keep going. Exhale up. Inhale down. Deep breath. And we're slowly relaxing. Last set here of our bicep curls. All right, let's go. Finding that tension between the shoulder blades, chest out, pushing through. All the way to 15. Don't give up now. Just make it all count. And relax. We switch back to our frontal raises. That's it. Finish off this last stretch of energy, the last stretch of effort. One arm at a time, finding the front delt. Keep pushing, don't give up. Squeezing glutes, brace the core. Doesn't have to be too high, just about chest height. Deep breath. And congratulations everyone. Thanks for joining the workout. We got it all done full seven supersets in under 30 minutes thanks for joining in check out other videos as i would always recommend you to keep moving through the next couple of tough months that we've been having catch you in the next workout